this is the main dashboard and we have this philosophy for green is go. So this is this is your whole level system dashboard to where if you want to see what's the status of my system in the morning before I get a cup of coffee, you should be able to scroll all the way down this. And if everything is green, you're good to go. Um, and so you see, we went through the, the, the host uptime here, collecting a ton of information from syslog um, and a network throughput. And then we go into the, uh, the smart information or the hard drives in the chassis. And one thing I want to point out here is, is this dashboard is an aggregate. So this dashboard is taking every single, whatever it is in a blade, whether it's a hard drive, it takes every single hard drive in the system and it reports the worst case scenario here. So you don't have to look individually at each of the components. You can visually see what is my worst number that I have here and is it gonna generate a failure? Um, so this is, if you scroll down this list and you say green is go, we're good. Um, and we have one down right here, which we'll get into later as um, uh, one of the areas that would, you would look at that and you go, oh, I'm getting red on there. So there's, there's something wrong, but we'll, we'll drill down on that. Uh, so now we want to see what's going on in Novi Switch. Alex went over this. So this is the network component. Um, this is, this is uh, NoviWare running on the Tofino platform. So you get overall system throughput. Um, you get this in a time series database. One thing that um, you'll notice is that when I roll over a time series database, I get a marker on all the time series data throughout the page. And that's really uh, important because if I wanna drill down and see something, I wanna be able to correlate data. So I can go and highlight any one of these fields. So this is, this is all the data that we've collected for today on, on network throughput. But if I wanted to highlight a specific area, I could just highlight this and it's gonna update all the information across there so I can correlate an event. So if I see a traffic anomaly here, it's gonna tell me what else was going on with the switch at the same time? What were the syslog um, events that were generated? What, were, what was my uh, hard disk doing? How about the memory, CPU? So it gives you an idea, you can, you can drill down that way. And then on the right-hand side here, if you wanna see an individual breakdown, of any one of these ports, um, then you can scroll through here and see, and you see as you update, as, as you go across the time series database, it actually updates the table on the right with what that value is. Now, if I wanna isolate a port, um, I can go ahead and um, uh, you know pick, pick a port, so I wanna see port one. And so I can click on, on port one, and it's gonna isolate only that information on that graph uh, so that you can start drilling down um, on very specific ports, if you want. Uh, so, uh, okay, let's see here. Yeah, and then syslog. Syslog is uh, very interesting. I'll, I'll go over that in just a minute. Uh, so we'll go back to the main dashboard. Uh, we'll go look at syslog. So again, this is collecting all of the operating system messages. Um, that are generated by, by the operating system. And we're collecting it in, in this database here. Um, and so it gives you a breakdown on, on who's, first of all, who's the top talker? Who's the one generating these events? Uh, and then, like I said before, you can click on one of these and just isolate an individual blade or VM in there. Um, and then you get this nice graph down here that gives you an idea of what are the types of messages, you know, what are the, the, the breakdown of messages that, that are being generated by syslog. And you can go get uh, information about that. And then you can, if you want to, you can go ahead and filter this so you get only certain types of uh, messages. Like if I just want to see what are the warnings, um, then, then I can do that. Uh, and as we move down, it starts giving you information, a breakdown of what generated it, what was the process that generated the message. Um, you know, and then you can filter the syslog below by, uh, by clicking on one of these values. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to change this and show you all of the warnings. So you can easily filter and drill down on information to get to the critical information that you need. So like I said before, it's no longer looking for that needle in the haystack. We're giving you the tools to drill down and figure out what was operationally going on in my uh, in my platform. And so maybe you know if this were an event that I were interested in, I could click on this event and see the database record of what it, of what happened. But now, what if I just want to isolate that? Give me the time series information on what was going on across the chassis 
uh, and what we're generating uh, events before and after that. We can we can load more events or load fewer uh, events, but it's just a, another useful way on how to drill down uh, and see what was going on. Uh, I'm on the uh, the cell details page. The good news here is that uh, everything is green and there's no results found, meaning the last 15 minutes, nothing happened with the box. So if I change the time scale to this year, we did generate some events, right? So now we can take a look at what's generating the event. Um, so, oh, look, Lantern 1, uh, 16 critical events were generated since we, since we started uh, this project and doing the, the data collection. Um, so let's just focus on what those critical events are. Okay, so we see that it's um, the 12 volt rail um, is uh, was generating events. And we see that uh, we get the error messages from the cell logs uh, for that 12 volt event. And you see that this event lasted for about one second, less than one second, it crossed through thresholds. So my guess is that these two events, they're, they happen on separate, separate dates. These two events may have been a um, power supply that you plug in. Uh, and while the while the, the power is stabilizing, you had a slight, you know, over voltage situation uh, that was you may maybe caused by a transient inrush current, uh, and it went away. So it lasted less than a second, and it returned to normal. So don't really think this is an, it, this is an issue. Uh, and then we have the IPMI detail information where we can go in and we can take a look at all of the hardware subcomponents, uh, the temperatures that's being uh, recorded, the fan speeds is being recorded. The two things that generate the most truck rolls are, are fans that die. And we certainly don't want that because then you have overheating situations uh, and hard drives. So this is why we really focus on these elements because if you can, if you can stop a truck roll from happening, or if you can aggregate multiple maintenance things that need to happen, or if you can preempt something from happening, um, then having this information and having it available in time series so that you can take a look at it over, what's the trend over time, right? Because um, some of these things don't just die, um, they give indications like, uh, you know, if a bearing and a fan is starting to seize up, it's going to start slowing down before it, it, it stops. So you'll be able to see that through the time series database. And then you get uh, an idea of all the voltage rails uh, coming in. And this is this is for blade one. So you can get a, a snapshot of uh, what the current values are. And then you can scroll through time to see, you know, how steady that is. And back to the main dashboard. Uh, we have the power supply information. And remember I said earlier that, that there's something wrong with the platform. I got a red on the main dashboard. So we know that, that there's something going on in the power supply. If I were coming in first thing in the morning and I wanted to uh, you know, check the system, I see that and I go, well, before I get my coffee, I got to check. Um, so we, we see we've got these nice big gauges, beautiful to, to display what the current status is, what the temperature is. Um, the power in, amps, voltage, it's all graphed in the time series database for us. We have it for power supply two there. And then we go, oh, power supply three. So it's it's generating a uh, a record um, for for temperature. So we know that it's it's plugged in. But this one just happens to not have the actual power cord plugged in. Uh, so we know, you know, the the um, the sensor is active. It's probably receiving some standby power from something, but uh, it's not plugged in. Uh, go back to the uh, beginning. And then the last thing was, was something that um, it, that Alex went through is, is the new, one of the new additions for this release. And this is incredibly important to be able to see um, the status of your drives. Mm -hmm.